What's up everybody? Hans Petter, HPZ right here. I'm an artist from Lund, southern part of Sweden. So I connected with another artist to contribute to Musikhjälpen this year. The people that will be running this year's Musikhjälpen is this one, this one, this one. So help them to achieve a good result this year with maybe purchasing this painting for a lot of money. It's made from two great artists collaborating across Sweden. And that is pretty much what Musikjöppen is all about. Collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. We made a vlog about it. So if you want to see how we created this painting that you're gonna buy for a lot of money, check this out. So it's a gloomy, rainy morning with 14 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's what I would call lukewarm. A couple of kilometers in, so we have this thing in Sweden every Christmas season that it's called Musikhjälpen. And I sometimes do something to contribute to that great, great thing or the cost that is actually provided by the Swedish people in good faith. So. I was thinking maybe collaborate with someone, create something together. There is this guy called Ula. He's from a place called Soda Schöppingen. I don't know where that is, but it's probably north of me. Maybe reach out to him and make a collab. He does these great things with like old reproductions of Sorn paintings, classical paintings that and then he paints these awesome small characters. Maybe something from Star Wars, Yoda. He also does yeah, a lot of Marvel figures and he has been contributing to Musikia for a long time. So I thought maybe me as a more of a classical painter, I can paint like a Sorn study of something that he would love to paint over. I'm gonna reach out to him, maybe set up a collab, we'll see. So I reached out to Ula immediately after my run. It took maybe an hour and he responded. He's very active on social media, foremost Instagram. My phone is, my phone is ringing, of course. So I reached out to him and he said, he's in, right? He's up for it. So he just said, start paint. But I, I, I responded that, hey, you choose the image. You choose whatever I should paint, then, then what you should be working on later. So now we're just waiting you'll see what he come, what comes up with and it's it will be great whatever he wants it will be great but I'm very curious on what type of motive or what painting he will choose for me to make a replica out of very excited it's gonna be great so by the magic of editing or editing it's three days later just arrived with a with a painting he wants me to make uh, this one right so I don't know what's going on in Ula's mind he's a bit crazy I think <laughs> judging from the from his paintings but it's gonna be super interesting for me to see what he does with this one so I need to get to work I need to get going with some drawing some figuring out what values I'm gonna use what palette sort of sh that stuff that is very important to create a good product also the framing the the imagery the the composition if I'm gonna change something or I'm just gonna make a pure replica so it's down to the nitty-gritty nitty and we're we're gonna get going and hopefully I'm done in about a week if everything goes good right so next time I'll see you we'll be at the drawing board Den är honungsatt, din du kan är blöd Du kan kolla nöt, kolla nöt Kvinnan hon är gröt i din blick Båta med ditt färgstick Lägg en färgkrig, ingen återblick Gammal bonkring Tre en nokta kring och det var hattrick Lite hur det var slapstick Ni som älskar son Älskar ändå son med hans människas barn Ola Hoppe son Karaktär, karaktär Vården är primär Musikhjälpen är här, äkta sån atmosfär Ola Hoppe sån, mörkens bonhjälpen är här Naken kvinna där, Ola han blir kär Yoda Boba Superman Ola Hoppe sån, hjälpen är du här Alla kan ha 
Das Land so laut an Land, muss der Bonus band Muss noch ich jetzt ganz dort an der EH Da der nie hat's hart, Ulla Opel so ein Lüchs Bonn So the sketch is done, I'm pretty happy with what I came across There will be some issues with the face but No hurdles, I can't jump Over there And I have just figured out, I have the perfect frame for this canvas I found at a junk shop I primed it with gesso multiple times and then I stained it Burn. <laughs> to make it classic early masters always did that so as a present master I'm doing that uh -huh. shit too so now off to the easel <laughs> So not the easiest painting at all, had as I expected some difficulties with the facial feature, however I think I managed pretty well due to the circumstances <laughs> of it being made from one of the best painters the world has ever seen. So However, I'm not gonna go into much detail about how I made it, what technique, what materials, anything else that has to do with the specifics of painting. There is a lot of other accounts that can focus on that. So if you're interested, no, I will put in the description down below the material, sort of brushes, brand of paint, if you think that matters. <laughs> then after that, the technique. But I won't go into detail about that stuff. So now, it's time for the printing, it's time for packaging, it's time for putting it into the delivery system. <laughs> then, we're off to the racing. So I just delivered the package to the grocery store where the packages are delivered. And what he does with it now, it, it, it's out of my control. I'm super interested in, in, in what's gonna happen. So we're back. Unfortunate mistake of mine happened. So I'm pretty much done with my part. Painting, frame, delivery. We'll see what happens from here. Super excited, whatever he comes up with. And now I have to do some editing with 
very little understanding of anything to do with video. It's gonna be super interesting to see how this turns out. I'm on my way to my studio where I have a package from uh, Wapia, a painting. I'm really excited to start with it now. and with this great painting by Huopi. I have been following on Instagram for a while. He contacted me. I was actually in Muda, the place where Zorn was born. And uh, I was preparing my exhibition Ola Art versus Zorn in the center of Muda at Muda Kulturhus. And uh, when he came up with this idea that he would paint a replica of a Zorn painting and I would do my weird stuff on his painting, I, I was really excited to do this for Musik hjälpen. I love it. So now it's uh, been a week since I got this painting. I've been thinking. First, I came up with uh, well, maybe she would have a face hugger from Alien in her face. I love it. But maybe there will be some people that don't love it as much as I do. And I really want this to bring a lot of money to Musik Hjälpen. Then I was thinking about maybe she's Jane from Tarzan and Jane. And she could stand there on the beach with a cheetah. But uh, well, Tarzan isn't really hot right now. So I'm going for uh, Star Wars. So I'm gonna do some sketching here and you'll see uh, my ID later on. Okay. R2D2 and we have C3PO and now I'm gonna do uh, some kind of Leia version. All right. Done with the sketches. So far, so good. Now it's time to paint. Yay! Little training mellan måleri stunderna. Now it needs to dry before I can put a second layer. It's gonna be great. Okay, I'm leaving home for a couple of hours in the studio before I start my work. I want to soften the, the lines a bit. I want to have a little less contrast in my painting. So it really blends in with the Hopeless painting. Coming to the end of this project, Ula is finishing up the second layer of the 
part that he's painting. And I am now editing this video. So please share this video for the benefit of Musik Yelpen because it's a great cause this year. Contributing to the healthcare, we have seen the situation with the vid and how that has affected all of our lives. Please, it's time to actually contribute. And also get a great painting to be hung on your wall.